kids, welcome back. Today is the fourth day of Elijah morning prayer and you guys are doing so great. Why don't we give a high five to the person next to us. High five. Awesome. Now let's sing our theme Bible verse. And I am sure of this. Amen! What an amazing promise that is. Yes, God has a great plan for you and He will complete His good work in you until the day of Jesus Christ. Now, let's read today's Bible verse. Today's Bible verse is Matthew chapter 28, verse 5 to 6. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as He said. Come and see the place where he lay. Boys and girls, have you ever used a GPS before? Well, maybe you haven't, but your parents most likely have. Do you know what a GPS does? A GPS shows you the direction you need to go to and even shows you different routes you can take. But did you know there's only one way to be saved? You can't be saved by trying to be perfect or by being a good person. The Bible says in Acts 4.12, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. And that name is Jesus. Now, this is something to celebrate. We can be saved by asking Jesus into our hearts. But when Jesus died on the cross, the disciples could not understand this yet. They were confused and sad. After Jesus died, they placed him in a tomb and they rolled over a huge stone to seal it. Then on the third day, two women, Mary and Mary Magdalene, came to the tomb. And they saw the huge stone had been rolled away and Jesus' body was gone. Instead, there was an angel who said, He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. The two women were filled with joy and ran to the disciples to share this good news. Boys and girls, Jesus died on the cross to forgive our sins, but he rose again and invites all of us to be God's children. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Guys, look at this bag. Let's see what's inside. It's empty and dark, just like Jesus' tomb. What else is dark? The Bible says that because of our sin, we walked in darkness. The Bible also says that the wages of sin is death. But you know what? Through Jesus Christ, we become a new creation from death to life. You are born again. And that is God's promise. As long as we believe and put our trust in Him, why don't we celebrate this good news together with our family? Let's give a warm hug to each other and say, You are a new creation. Before we finish today, let's not forget our picture time. Today's mission is to take a family picture. Remember, I have to be in the picture with you. Ready? I'm going to give you 30 seconds. One, two, three. And I am sure of this That he who began a good work in you Will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ That he who began a good work in you Will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ Okay, 
Good job, everybody. Now let's close our time with prayer. Dear God, thank you for sending us Jesus. Thank you for the cross. We believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again to forgive our sins and to give us eternal life. We believe that you are God and you love me. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to day four, Elijah morning prayer. Building on the love of Jesus. Let's read a theme verse together. Philippians 1, 6, ready, go. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. So today we'll make a cool wooden fish that we can find in your special Elijah morning prayer craft packet. So this, so let's take it out. Okay, what you need, you need wooden fish and Colored tissue paper and black string. And you also need tape or glue or glue stick. Okay, ready? Let's go. Okay, so first there's a letter, Jesus, and then cross. Let's take out this letter. Take letters out. Simply press down like this. Okay, and now we cut out, let's take this out on the side, cut out the colored paper with the scissor. Okay, I'm going to cover J first, so I'm going to cut a little. So you're going to cover this on the back. This is the front, the back, cover like this. I'm gonna use, you can use glue stick, but I'm gonna use a tape. So this is much easier for me. And then next, I'm gonna cover E, so I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna use a blue. So let's see about this side. So let me measure a little bit about this, cut. Okay. So I'm gonna use a tape to cover, uh, paste in the back. So I cover J and E, keep going, S, U, S, and then cross. That way, you know, we can see um, the words pop out. We can see words can pop out, okay? So I will show you, I finish like this. So if you want to be more creative, you can find sticker jewels and gem to place on the fish. Um, let me see, I'm gonna put you can use a glue here. And then put some parts. Where's my heart? Okay, put some heart. Or if you don't have this, you can just color them nicely using marker or color pencil. So now what we're gonna do, use black string, put it in this hole, and other hole. So 
you can hang this on your wall or your doorknob. Like this. It's a wooden fish. I hope you had a great time. Let us pray today, thanking God for sending Jesus, our promised Savior, to us. See you next time. Bye.